Hello friends and welcome to Load of Crock. Oh, it feels so good to be back in the Load of Crock kitchen, which as you might notice, looks a little bit different. Our family moved earlier this year. So if you've been wondering where the heck did Load of Crock go? That's where we went, but we are back and I'm super pumped because we've got a lot of big items in the hopper ready for the Load of Crock kitchen. Um, except for this episode, I guess. This episode probably would be less big and considered more small or smaller if you're an English teacher, my mother. Um, so small, in fact, that some people might say it's kind of shrimpy. That's right, for our Return to the Kitchen Load of Crock episode, we are bringing you Fiesta Lime Shrimp and Rice. Okay, friends, so as I said, this is our Load of Crock comeback episode. After just a little bit of a pause while our family moved and we got our feet wet in this new kitchen. Um, I have to admit, I'm feeling a little bit rusty in this whole uh, arena here, but the good news has been is that this whole time that I've been thinking about this being the comeback episode, I've had that LL Cool J song in my head, don't call it a comeback, uh, that song, you know? Um, and if you don't know who LL Cool J is, not only do I feel rusty in the kitchen, but I also now feel old. Anyway, moving on, as I shared, this episode, we are doing a shrimp recipe. Now, some of you might be thinking gross shrimp in the crock pot because I'm gonna be honest, that's kind of what I thought. But I did a poll on Instagram and people really wanted more seafood in the crock pot, so I gave it a shot and actually, it's really good. So I'm going to walk you through, there are two steps here. You're gonna season your shrimp and then set it aside in the fridge and then you're going to get all of the, what I consider the fiesta part of the recipe into the crock pot and let that cook and then you'll be adding the shrimp towards the end. Um, so watch as I throw this together. If it seems a little bit rusty, it might be, but stick with me because I assure you when we come back, I'm gonna walk you through a few different ways to serve and eat this because there are quite a few and it's super good. And also talk about just some of the little tips that I learned along the way as it relates to doing some seafood in the crock pot. For this recipe, you'll need black beans, sweet corn, taco seasoning, rice, butter, limes, cilantro, chicken broth, and shrimp. For my shrimp, I use large cooked frozen shrimp and thawed it out prior to using. First, you'll want to put your shrimp, roughly 25 in a bowl, along with your packed fourth cup of cilantro and packet of taco seasoning. Then squeeze one lime over the top, mix it up really well, and then you'll want to cover it and set it aside in the fridge. Grab your crock pot, spraying the bottom and the sides, adding the rest of your ingredients, your one and a half cups of rice, two cups of chicken broth, three-fourths can of black beans, roughly three-fourths can of your sweet corn undrained, two tablespoons of butter, and finally squeezing your second lime over the mixture. And then you'll wanna mix it all together and place it on high for two hours. Friends, I did the rice on high for two hours and then after the two hour mark, grabbed the shrimp from the fridge and then added that in, mixed it all up really good and put it back on high for about 20 minutes. Um, I would say, Keep checking the shrimp until you feel like it's warm and to your liking and then it should be ready to go. Some serving tips that I wanted to share with you because there are a lot of things you can do with this and I want to make sure you guys know all the different ways I've tried. Uh, we did just a big heaping pile of rice with the shrimp on it. When I was telling people about this recipe idea I had, everybody kept saying, oh, you mean like jambalaya? And I was like, yeah, I guess it is kind of like a jambalaya. So there you have that. Uh, we also did them in, we got the little street tacos and we did little shrimp tacos. So the rice, the shrimp, and then we added, you know, a few little garnishes, uh, cheese, lettuce, things like that. Or third, you can scrap the taco and you could do like a bowl. So you could do the same thing, heaping pile of rice with the shrimp and then add your favorite things like lettuce, 
sour cream, cheese, things like that, and make it a bowl. Um, and that's really great too. Also, substitution alert, <laughs> chicken. If you do not want to do shrimp in the crock pot, which I get, even though I'm telling you, it turns out good. Um, chicken's a good one. We also did one where we seasoned the chicken the exact same way, put it in the oven, and then shredded it up and add that to the rice mixture, just as we did with the shrimp, and that was excellent. Also a great vegetarian meal. Don't do any meat, just do the rice. I actually had the rice as a leftover by itself and it was incredibly good. So all different ideas for you to consider as you are getting ready um, to put some shrimp in the crock pot. Trust me, it's not as weird as you think it might be. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I feel so rusty, but I am back and I'm so happy to be back. Thank you for being here as part of our comeback episode for Load of Crock. And also thank you for sticking with us these last six months as we kind of figured out what this new landscape of our Load of Crock kitchen looked like. Um, we really do have a lot of great things in the hopper and I'm super excited to share them with all of you. So stay tuned as we have more coming your way. Um, but thank you for being a part of this big shrimpy comeback episode. Um, big shrimpy, I think that's an oxymoron. Again, we have to ask like an English teacher, like my mother is it? I don't, not sure. Anyway, so thank you all for that. And thanks to all of you that continue to watch and are subscribed, even with our little bit of a gap that we had here, people continue to watch and subscribe to our channel. So thank you. Thank you to all of you. It's so good. So good to be back. So now here's what we're going to do. I think that it's imperative that we all agree. We've got to put on LL Cool J. Mama said, knock you out. That's the name of the song and jam to it. Because not only is it a comeback, but it's a fiesta. I mean, it's time, you guys. So grab your crock pots, put on LL Cool J, and check out this fiesta lime shrimp and 